It's been really hard thinking about what I want to do for my final project. If you look close enough to anyone's life, you're going to find an interesting story. How people in their 20s are trying to understand and figure out for themselves what it means to be an adult. No, that's not fair though. Does she know who she needs to know? Find the stories from all walks of life. So that night we smoked weed and I did six lines and I was hooked. Now I can't smoke weed without wanting to cook. <laughs> if that concept worked, then I'd be making a fool out of, let's just call this guy. I was just there filming a BTS behind the scenes for one of the music artists who I met um, some, at, at Equinox. He was fine, he was my personal trainer, okay? But like, he found out I filmed and he said he makes music and he's like, yo, just check out like the beats we're making. Anyways, so that's how I met Mikey. Mikey, I met him at a recording session and he was just like the only other Asian dude in this place and like this whole place was just like smoked up. He was, um, he, he approached me and said, yo, I'm just looking for reliable people, you know what I mean? I'm like, I'm trying to make the dream team. I'm an entrepreneur, I'm a visionary. I also know people from Vice. That is so cool. Like, that's actually my dream. Like, my dream is to somehow, someday, like, find my way in the Vice, you know? Well, I mean, like, everyone will call you when I have a gig for you. And then he did have a gig for me on my birthday, May 2nd. I wish the COVID coronavirus will go away. Nah, I will wish for something else. Yay! This gig was supposed to be like, I would shoot like a commercial video. Um, he told me like to show how they like make juices in his juice bar. And it was pretty simple. I mean, it's, it's not a bad thing. Um, it's just more like... I don't know, it's just the way that he made me feel who he was, it wasn't really quite that. Okay. You know what I mean? Because I'm all about that. Like Chinese, traditional Chinese mm -hmm. medicine. Yeah. Ayurvedic, uh, Vedic medicine. Um, it could just just natural cool. shit. Yeah. It was the moment he started talking about like herbals, like herbal things and holistic things and like, he knows the cure for the coronavirus. And that really intrigued bro, me. if you understood what I've uncovered, bro, it's insane, bro. I've been uncovering the truth the past like month. How fucked up the world is, the people who control the world. If the government work for us, we don't work for them. There's really a cure for every disease. Yeah. But, and everyone knows that, oh yeah, of course, right? But then yeah. it's like, yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, then how do you how do you cure this and that? And they don't know. So I work with a lot of like scientists, herbalists, like people who, you know who Dr. Sabi is? No, Dr. Sabi? Yeah. Who's Dr. Sabi? Well, there have been so much confusion about who is Dr. Sabi because there are many people who claim to be me and have websites up. But there's every fucking cure, bro. I'm sure about that. That's insane. I'm sure about that. No, it's a fact. Yo, but it I don't know how else to put it. Maybe the angle here is about people surviving. I think it should have been an honest story about how hard food and beverage businesses are struggling to really keep up with you know with these times 